Hello everyone, welcome to your very own channel and in this particular video we are going to learn about how to use filter in JavaScript. We are going to learn about the filter method that help us to select a specific item from any array. Right? Just like uh, we filter out the clean water, right? If you are having a water, we want to separate out the clean water and to throw the rest part. Uh, for that what we use, we use a filter. Similarly, in the JavaScript also, we use the filter method to filter out the things which we want and throw out the things which we don't want, right? So we will see it with the help of example and definitions in the video. Stay connected and let's start. So let's first understand that what is the definition of filter. So as you can see here, the definition of filter says that a filter method is used to create a new array means it will create a new array from that previous array by keeping only those elements that pass a test condition. What this test condition is? This is the condition which we want so that we can select out the elements from that array by our choice. Right? We want certain elements of that array. What are those elements will be? That will be depend on whatever condition that we put inside this filter method. Right? And one more thing that it does not modify the original array means you are getting a new array that means that you are not going to change that original array from which you are separating out the element. Right. So what is the purpose of your filter method? Keep this mark that it is used to select or remove specific values from the list. Right. It means it will select or either you can remove specific values from the list. Let's first understand that what is the syntax of using filter method. So the syntax is that you first write your name of the array, right? The original array that you from where you are going to take out the elements, right? And then we will write the filter. Okay, there I think filter. Then we will put a parenthesis right and inside of it I'll again write a bracket and then put an arrow and then a curly bracket right this is what this is your arrow function right inside this parenthesis I will write two things that is element comma index element will be used to fetch out the elements each and every element from that particular array the original array from which we are taking out the elements and index shows the index number of that element which we are fetching out right so this is the syntax right and here in the curly bracket what we do we write a return and then we write our whatever logic we want right okay so this is how we write the syntax of your filter method now let's take some good examples and understand that how to use filter so let's first take a very basic example of filtering out a number which is uh, greater than let's say 10 right a we will create an array and inside of which we are going to store certain numbers and we will separate out only those number which will be greater than 10 right so for that let's first create a number array number okay number equals to Let's write few numbers like 5, 12, 30, 23, 45, 67. This is the number, right? Let's write it 7 only. Okay. So, we are going to write a logic so that we can separate out only number that are greater than 7. So, what number are here which are greater than 7? These three numbers, right? So, let's do one thing. Let's create it. So, for that, since it create a new array, we will store it inside a new variable that is let result equals to number. Number is what? Your original array. Then we will write what? Dot filter. Inside of it, we will create a bracket, then again a bracket, an arrow, and then a curly bracket. Right? Okay. So here, we will write what? We will write two things that is element comma index and then inside of it we will write our logic so what we want we want that return this element is doing what this is taking out the elements from that original array like element will first store 5 then 12 
then 23, then 47. Now, when we are writing written, then what we will write? We will write the logic that is, we want to take out number, sorry, number not, element, that element which is greater than 10, right? This is what we want. So, here our filter function is ready. Now, we will do what? We will print this result inside of which all the elements will be stored, right? So, console.log and result. Let's see on our console that what is it returning, whether it is returning 12, 23 and 45 or something else. So, yeah. And you can see that it is creating a new array and inside of it, we are having three different elements that is 12, 23 and 45 which are greater than 10. So this is how you use filter method in JavaScript, right? Should I take a new example? Any other? Okay, let's do one thing. Let's play with the object inside an array, right? So for, let's first create, okay, let's me comment, let me comment it out. Let's create a new array that is student, which will have objects, right? So the first object says that name should be Aman and marks should be 45, right? Okay, right. Now let's create a new object and inside of it let's name it Sara. Her marks is 95 as girls score more always as you can as you know right. Okay, let's name it Ravi and uh, his mark is 75 right. Sara is a dropper. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is your array. And we want to separate out those students and their marks basically which are greater than um, let's say 60 right marks greater than 60 so I want those marks which are greater than 60 for that what we can do let's write it uh, let's create a new variable uh, passed then spread the marks which are greater than 60 are passed right so let passed equals to name of the original array that is student dot filter then we will create a bracket inside of it i will create a arrow function that is this this right i hope you get it inside of this what we write we write element comma index right here we do what we will return we will return student sorry not a student a student is an array we, we are using this element right now this element will first store the first element of the student right this one then it will go here it will store this as these complete object is the single element of this particular array right and that we are getting inside this element so we will do what element dot marks this particular element is holding this complete object and inside of this I'm having this marks so I will write element dot marks now this element dot mark is greater than 60 now what it will do it will separate out those students marks that are greater than what that are greater than 60 right yeah so let's spread it out past so let's see that what result I'm going to get. So here you can see I'm getting two different, two different objects and those objects are those which are having marks greater than 60 as you can see, right? And here what we are deleting or removing that is red, this Aman, right? This particular object because its marks is not greater than 60, right? So this is how you do and perform tasks using filter method. Right. I hope you get it. I hope you understood all the examples that I told you. Just keep few things in mind that it does not modify the original array and it is used to select or remove specific values from the list. Right. Okay. And uh, yeah, one more thing that in case that you put a particular condition 
to separate out the elements from the array and that particular condition do not satisfy with any element then what you will get let me write it down if no element passes your test then what you will get you will get it returns a empty array right it will return what it will return a empty array fine like here uh, let me show you in this particular example if i say that a student whose marks is greater than 100 right then what do you think we will going to get let's see okay we have not yeah now you can see here we are getting a empty array this array is not holding anything right so this is how you work in filter and i hope you understood the whole concept of using filter method if you understood everything make sure that you like the video and subscribe the channel uh, we will meet again with another new topic and the new explanation till then thank you so much and goodbye